Wow, 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 wow. That is and, and of applause for Mr. Adams Oshomole. Mr. Adams Oshomole. So I watched the interview. I think with Shehu. I mean, it was brilliant. It was brilliant, you know. I, I never thought the guy is very smart and intelligent like that. The, the truth of the matter is that, you know, now on social media, they call him Taylor, Abriba. But after listening to that guy, he's a brilliant guy. He's a smart guy. And personally, I don't have issue with Oshomole. You understand? I have issue with uh, the people he hang out with, people like uh, Kabaka. You understand? So if Oshomole become the governor, or who, who he brought become the governor, by default, Kabaka become a governor. You understand? So that is the issue I really have with Oshomole. But according to our brother, Anamigo, he said a police officer told him that uh, if your friends or your friend is suing you, you give him a chance. So I hope uh, Mr. Adam Sochomole is giving that guy Kabaka a chance because he's going to continue destroying your name in our face. We we the elite from uh, from uh, Benin City or from the Benin, Benin, Benin Kingdom or, or Edo. You understand? I was very proud of Sochomole and uh, uh, I was proud as an Edo man the way he speak. And these are some of the highlights, you know. So what he actually said is that uh, they put up a team, you know, like a committee. And I think one of the guys that are heading the committee is a political scientist, you know. So that's brilliant. You know, the, 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 the numbers of the people contesting for APC governorship was like 29. So they put up a team of people with weight of experience and weight of wisdom to come up with, according to him, just four people. And one thing... He told us they were looking for is someone that is popular, you know. So that is very significant. Someone that is popular, someone that uh, the people can vote for. So from that, the list of those four people who I'm suggesting now, I'm predicting is going to choose is uh, Dennis Idaosa. You understand, Dennis Idaosa? You know, in my last video, I talk about uh, it's a level of intelligence, uh, not having different degrees, but you have to understand this is politics. You understand? We can go back in history. Uh, so, what I'm letting the Nigerian people to know is that uh, intelligent, being intelligent, being smart has nothing to do with degrees. Oshomole just shows us that he can do it. Then, uh, then it's uh, Daosa, he can still prove us wrong when he get there. But some of the people that have done this in the history, like people like uh, them, Adolf Hitler. Okay? Adolf Hitler was never from the elite class. Adolf Hitler was never among the elites, the kings, the queens, the royal families. Adolf Hitler was just a popular guy because of his, uh, 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 for, because of his, <laughs> his lyrics about uh, racism, about the Jewish people. So people supported him, just like uh, Unadi Kanu. So he wasn't like a technocrat or someone with a lot of degrees. The same with uh, Mussolini in Italy. So Mussolini was popular because of his rhetoric, like uh, that Yoruba guy, you know, that, that was promoting fight against uh, the full lines that is in Benin Republic now. That is how Mussolini come up. That is how Adolf Hitler come up. So, in fact, in Italy, the king did not want to be friends with Mussolini because they are not the same class. But because it was popular, that is why the king draw Mussolini near. So, after the king, the king eventually told them to go and kill uh, King, Mus king Mussolini because it was not part of their crew. It's, it's not part of their their, their royal family or something like that. It just got popular because of his uh, rhetoric about hatred. So let me talk to Mr. Dennis Idaosa. This is a warning and an advice to Mr. Dennis Idaosa. You understand? Stay away from Kabaka. We don't want anybody to saw your image. I'm not saying I'm going to support you, but stay away from Kabaka because of the elites. You understand? We are looking at you and making sure that you stay away from him, the people, so that you don't stay, use Kabaka to stay you, you know? And your age, your age is a ripe age for leadership, you know? Your age is a ripe, ripe age, age for leadership. In Ireland, our prime minister is uh, 45. In UK, I think it's less than 45. France, less than 45, you know? Even in history, people like Malcolm S was, I think, 38, 39. Martin Luther King. So your age is ripe for, for leadership. Like I said, politics is not about 
technocrat. It's not about degrees. You understand? But it's having the right mind to put the right people beside you. Okay? We saw this in California. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. When Arnold Schwarzenegger comes, Arnold Schwarzenegger is just uh, an, a movie actor. He's, he's not even a politician. He's not a season politician. But when he came, he was able to clear the debt in California. was able to build the economy. Which then was the fifth largest economy in the world. And we saw Donald Trump as well. Donald Trump is not a traditional politician. He's not the guy with a lot of degrees or letter in his name. But he was in America. So what we are telling you is this. If you become the governor or if you succeed, put teams, teams of technocrats around you. Teams, teams of people that have brain. You, you understand me? Oshomole have just shown that. He does that with Obaseki. He's the one that brought Obaseki to his team and worked with him. He was, Obaseki was among his economic team. Now, he have repeated that again. Uh, he, he wanted to screen about 29 people aspiring, aspiring of being a governor. He brought a team of people together, headed by a political uh, uh, scientist, someone that has been teaching politics in university for years. So, one of the things they said they needed was someone that is popular. And from what I know, and uh, the way I do it now, I think Dennis Idaosa is the person that is popular. So probably he's going to clinch the, the ticket of the APC. Like I said, stay away with Kabaka. Don't spoil your name, my brother. So uh, as we, as we, uh, uh, just a quick advice for, for my uh, ASAM people. You see, Oshomole is playing a strategic game with you. You understand? Oshomole is promising that he's going to deliver the North. Probably... Then he said that also will deliver, I think, uh, those out will be the Benins. ASAM people, you don't have the numbers. You understand? And the air trade, the air trade of ASAM people against the Benin have to be reduced, especially in social media. You understand? We know that most people in social media, they just they are just talking, but some people can take this person now. You know? So the, the, the way the ASAM people are attacking the Benins, the air trade and everything, you have to calm it down. If you really need the support of the Bini people or Edo people to win the election, whether through PDP as well or through a uh, Labour Party, Akmata. You understand me? So, like I said, that was a great speech. And uh, 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 Oshomole proved me wrong. I, I didn't expect a very a brilliant... Is, um, I mean, the guy... I mean, if you listen to... Uh, 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 is a Yamu supporter. They call him Abri Bar Taylor, but he didn't sound like a tailor. He sounded like a very learned person, even though he only have a primary school sat. He was very learned, was very professional. The way he delivered or the way he answered his question, Shane was asking him. I think he, I think he has learned his lesson. And like I said, stay away from Kavaka. Don't let Kavaka to destroy your name. So like I said, my name is Victor Vince. I just said I should drop that this morning. I'm a life coach, a business coach, and a financial literacy teacher. Do have a productive day. Take care. Bye for now.